Hey guys, what's going on? Josh here from Polymathix, and today I want to talk about Batman. That's right, Bruce Wayne, aka the Dark Knight. So I was thinking, right, um Batman, why is he so popular? He doesn't have all the cool superhuman powers that, you know, like Superman and the Flash have. And, um, and he's, he's not an alien or anything like that. So, you know, what is it that makes him so relatable? Um, and that got me to thinking, like, the thing, and I'm sure all of you know this already. The thing is, is that it's because Batman reminds us of ourselves he's he's relatable he's not he and it's precisely because he doesn't have any of the uh, superhuman powers that the rest of the Justice League has he doesn't have superhuman strength he doesn't have super speed he can't live under the water and talk to the the aqua animals he's just a normal regular everyday dude um, now, granted, he's the son of like multi-millionaires or billionaires, but um, when it comes down to it, um, there's there's another thing that's even deeper than him just being a regular guy. Yes, he doesn't have superhero powers, but the other thing that's um, really interesting about Bruce Wayne is that he has drive. He has a purpose. And when we take a look at the polymathic mindset um, and all of the different people in the past who have done great things, um, they've all been driven. They've all had a passion that kept them going even when times got difficult. And so, um, as we all know, those of us who are familiar with Bruce Wayne's backstory, you know, his parents were killed. Um, when he was very young and he witnessed the murder and everything and so this kind of scarred him for life but it also formed him and his psyche that, that made him want to go out and do good and stop the bad stop the evil that was going on in, in Gotham and also it's what kind of shaped his whole um, his whole rule set Batman does not kill and um, for those of you that saw um, you know any of the any of the Dark Knight trilogies uh, especially like the second one with Joker you know Joker's doing all this crazy stuff and Batman still sticks to his guns and he doesn't kill Joker and um, and that takes that takes a lot but it's because somewhere really deep within he has formed what his boundaries are but more importantly he's driven he's he's so passionate about what he believes that it can it can stop him from killing this crazy guy and it can also take this multi-billionaire who doesn't have a care in the world in terms of what regular people would and pushes him to to develop you know this persona and um, and then go out and risk his life every night um, in order to protect the innocent and to, and on a deeper level and the movies kind of touch on this but to preserve the innocence of Gotham's spirit as a whole like like the city as a whole but um I thought that was interesting because from the polymathic mindset um the thing that really drives all of us and when we look in the past at all of these great people um each one of them has a backstory each one of them came from somewhere that um that they had to dig real deep and, and find out what their what their 
reason was for doing what they did. And so, um, and so I just figured, you know, like, should share that. 